Hey, what's up, my little tennis dolls? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Khloe Kardashian, it looks like if you can't beat them, you better shut up and join them, y'all. What am I talking about? If you guys don't know, there was a little feud brewing between Khloe and her good American partner, Immigrant. Now, how do we know that there was a, brew, a feud brewing? Well, for one thing, Khloe literally unfollowed a Emma for no reason. Now, Emma is a boss. Emma is a money-making machine. Emma refuses to bow down to good America and let Chloe take complete control over it. And by control, I mean be the public face of it. She already made that mistake with Skims. She wasn't letting good American go. Chloe, on the other hand, was taking weird shots. What do I mean by this? I made a whole video about that. Go watch it, right? But let's get into this. Chloe was taking the weirdest shots at Emma. She was like, thanking people for her company she built, not even tagging Emma, who was actually the lead investor, the brains and the beauty behind it, Clyde is his cap. But let's get into this, right? Because as it happened, people, it was rumored that the feud was because Chloe wanted complete control of Good America. And by complete control, she wanted a Kim deal. Think about it, Kim up here, accepting awards from time 100 and everyone else and everyone's lauding her for how amazing she is with skims can i ask you a question have you seen kim's dressing lately now listen kim is talented at a lot of things right but fashion not one of them business sense i don't think so because every endeavor that kim had prior to linking up with emma went down the toilet right Think about it, where's KKW Beauty? They keep asking for a relaunch, but I'm sure they're waiting for Emma to help them relaunch. Think about it, Kim can't even jump on trends right. She will ride a twin to the end. Now again, Kim does have obviously her talents, but when it comes to recognizing how to market, what the girlies want, being innovative, being trend setting, let's just say, um, unless it's still an idea, has Kim ever really had it? Okay, fine. So we got that. However, I do want to say this. Kim, if you look at it, she's the face of Skims. She's collecting the awards. She's on like powerful magazines by herself looking up in her little sheer Barbie pantsuit. Chloe wanted that same deal. But just like when it comes to Tristan, Chloe, you always picked the wrong one because Emma said, no, 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 no. I made a cute coin off your sister, but like any shark, right? And don't get me wrong, Emma is a shark. And I mean that with all due respect, she was on Shark Tape. Like any shark, mm -mm 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 -mm. I learned my lesson once, we're not doing this, not today. I will help Chris build up safely or whatever, but guess what? My face is going to be up front. And when it comes to Good American, Chloe, you are nothing but the face of it. I used your Instagram feed and the Kardashian brand to launch it. You don't do anything. You don't pick up anything. You literally just show up, put these pink pleather Barbie doll pants on and dress up in your power suit and show off whatever face you have. Chloe didn't like that. Chloe was like, no, she wants the same deal Kim got you're not gonna get it. At the end of the day, right? At the last event they had, Chloe was acting really funny. Emma did this gushing post about, oh my God, you guys think it, Chloe and Emma were on a panel about diversity. Let's, let's rewrite that. Chloe, whose only diversity in her life is what? Having uh, black friends and a black daughter, right? was giving lectures on a diversity. Chloe, who literally rumored dyed herself into a size triple zero to fit into the status quo of what the Calabasas girlies are saying is beautiful, was talking about accepting bodies at all shapes and sizes. Okay, fine. It seemed a little bit hypocritical. However, in her thanks speech, she tried to, she unfollowed Emma and she tried to exclude her. Again, somehow they thought that they were going to bully Emma out of it. This is what, this is what the streets were saying. However, Emma pushed back and Emma reminded Chloe, you better never, ever, 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 ever fix your lips to act this way about me because we all know who the brains is, who the money is, 
who the future. Chloe, you better sit there and eat your rice and be happy that I'm taking you on this ride because baby, Good America is opening its first retail st store. We don't need you anymore, Chloe. You see what I did for Skims? You see the way Ice Spice is representing? You see the way we got our pulse? Yeah, baby, we can do the same thing to Good American. Chloe decided to sit there, eat her rice, and just mind her country club BBL business. Y'all, why am I saying that? Because the first round when everybody noticed that there was something brewing, Emma wrote this gushing post about uh, Good American, tagged Chloe, did all this stuff. Chloe wrote a post, excluded Emma, unfollowed her. Well, guess what? Guess what, baby? Now, Chloe still hasn't followed Emma again and I guess she doesn't that seems a little bit odd that you unfollowed your co-founder and your partner for business but you know what Chloe it's like it's your life you can do what you want but look what right look what Chloe did now oh look how times have changed Emma said you better act right get right <laughs> they put they were on the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine. And by they, I mean the girl that actually runs, founded, starts, and markets Good American. And that would be Emma Gard. And of course, Khloe Kardashian, the face of Good American. But I guess Khloe realized she could be replaced because Khloe posted this the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine, right? Emma and her mannequin named Chloe, the mannequin with a good last name, saying, are you listen listening? Your customers are speaking. Chloe Kardashian, Emma Greed, mastered the art of engaging them and pulled in 200 million annual sales. Now, let me just say this, right? It must be a huge blow to Chloe's ego because the Kardashians are used to just taking over and act like they do everything. But I do think this is the most honest thing because Chloe, at the end of the day, you are nothing but just the face of good American. That's it. And the thing is, Emma is positioning herself that she is going to be the face and the brains behind good American. Anyway, Chloe posted this gushing, and I mean gushing tribute. And this time she tagged Emma. That's right, act right or get left. Chloe said, what I'm most proud about Good American, what most proud about, what, I'm sorry, what I am most proud of about Good American is our commitment to empowering our customers. When at Immigrant, right? Um, and I founded our brand seven years ago, our mission was to give all women a place to be seen, heard, represented, and catered to in the fashion world. That's called fashion over plus size, but you know what? I'm not gonna lock, knock Emma's hustle because not only are they in all these major stores are about to open a standalone retail business. You got to give Emma her props. She has solidified herself as retail gold, right? They said it was never just about clothing. It was also about creating positive changes in women's life. Good American is driven by our customers from every step from product idealization to our campaigns. And I'm so grateful to you all for helping us grow this incredible brand that gives women of all sizes, shapes, and ethnicities and cultural backgrounds a place where they feel not only accepted, but wanted. Want it. Aw. Look at them capitalizing off of what Rihanna started. Y'all finally realize, y'all just, listen, it's cool that they finally realize you can't just, you can make, I know you're making money appropriating Latino women, black women, Asian women. Let's not all forget Kim's foxy eye era, right? When she had that little thread lift or uh, was rumored to have it. But you've now realized that you can actually make money by appropriating them and then selling it back to them. Wow. But that's a conversation for another day. She said, um, uh, from every step, from product idealization to campaigns, and I'm so grateful to all you for helping us grow this incredible brand that gives women of all sizes, shapes, and ethnicities and cultural backgrounds a place where they not only feel accepted and wanted, but wanted. We are always so grateful. Um, uh, we are always listening, learning, and evolving in order to provide you with products you can feel beautiful and powerful wearing. Every single customer is part of our journey. We can't wait to see where we go next. Thank you, entrepreneur Elizabeth Brody. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know what Emma wrote this time around? After Chloe literally played her by not tagging her and completely ignoring her because Chloe was mad she couldn't take all the thing. <laughs> Emma literally put, 
One stance, two stance. <laughs> And she tagged entrepreneur, good American, and Chloe Kardashian. Y'all, listen, this is all I want to say. The cream always rises to the top. Chloe should be happy that Emma is letting Chloe ride her coattails. And let's be real, prior to this, Chloe was the brokest Kardashian. And again, I know Chloe doesn't look, work at Kmart, all right? Is Kmart still open? Walmart? But Chloe was. The brokest Kardashian. Let's be real. Chloe, that's another reason why Chloe used to chase after Lamar and chase after Tristan. Because those Kardashian checks only went so far. You think Chloe just magically built a $27 million house next door to her mama? Where did Chloe get this money? You know Chris is all about her money. I doubt if Chris did give her the money, she was loaning it. No, if you read the actual articles that were written about it. Tristan and Chloe went in on that uh, um, house. They were building it together. Tristan footed the bill. That's probably why Tristan felt so comfortable cheating up and down on Chloe. Which, by the way, are y'all watching the new episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians? I have to go off on this trend, chan, um, tangent. Are y'all watching the new season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians? It looks really good. Kylie's given what needs to be given. Courtney always gives. Kim she's given by playing the villain which is her genre she's already starting to look like malnificent and i don't mean malnificent one i mean the second one when she was starting to turn into the scarecrow on some you know on some jump scared right um and chloe's given dumb dumb she is still trying to play this dumb game of whether her and tristan are a lot like i get it chloe thinks she found a cheat code right that as long as she doesn't put a title on it right Tristan can never embarrass her as long as there's a tight not a title on it so she will spend all her time with Tristan hang out with Tristan have sleepovers with Tristan but as long as there's not a title Tristan can't play her to which I always say oh Chloe you still haven't learned anything you can be single you can put a title on it Tristan's always going to play you now I say all this to say right well, let me get to the point. Chloe had nothing except for keeping up with the Kardashians. And prior to Hulu, I don't think she was actually, I mean, she was paid a lot for keeping up with the Kardashians, but it wasn't on the level that Kim was paid or Courtney was paid. Even with Ke keeping up with the Kardashians, I believe like all these seasons, it's only 10 million. Again, 10 million is a lot of dollars, but for someone that has no other income and such high cost of living, that 10 million after taxes, it's 5 million. Okay, 7.5, because you probably gonna say you do donated it to your mama's church, right? But even if it's between five to seven, if that's all you're making over multi-years and you're throwing lavish part, it's not that much money. Emma came in and threw Chloe a lifeline. She gave Chloe an identity after the black sheep of the family, the one when her mama was saying she needed a nose job. I'm not saying that Chloe needed a nose job. I'm saying her mama and her sisters, except for Courtney, Kylie, and Kendall, all I know that only leaves Kim, all treated her like she was like the redheaded stepchild. Let's be real. You were financially dependent on every man you were with. You had to chase after Tristan. You have to do this, you do that. Emma gave you an identity. She turned you into a mogul. She turned you into a businesswoman. She is the reason that people aren't just completely clowning you as being the dumbest, dumb, 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 dumb idiot for chasing after Tristan. Cause it looks like you have something else going on in your life. So imagine if the rumors can be believed, imagine the audacity that somebody that gifted you with all this, not even to mention you're getting 45% of the profits. And all you had to do was just stand up, show up, and diet, and compete with Marley, and whose waist can be skinnier? Man, Chloe, if you don't sit down. However, like I said, Chloe woke up, Emma shook her up, and like they said, baby, if you can't beat them, you might as well just sit there, grimace, eat your rice, <laughs> and be thankful that they let you join them. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye!